Greetings friend, Timberlake here from Smart Hobbies. This puzzle is Riff Classic by Riff Clown. Riff Clown himself suggested I solve it on my channel. I can't wait to do this. Look at this really cool kind of, of uh, initial shape. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a, like a spinning uh, starburst or something along those lines. Many people who solved this on the CTT Discord server said it was an exceptional puzzle. It had some beautiful logic. It was mainly rated a 3 out of 5 stars difficulty. And for me, that means I'm going to solve this with the modern software approach to uh, see what advanced strategies are. With that, it's solving time. So I will show all the candidates. The goal of the modern software approach is to kind of eliminate candidates. There's only one left in any particular cell. And I can see there's only a 9 right there. That's a naked single. So I can solve that for a 9. You got a 6, 7 naked pair right there. So I can get rid of all the 6s and 7s right here. And then I can cut across and get rid of all the 6s and 7s along row four. So by removing that six and seven, that has to be a one. And now you got a two eight pair to go with that. Okay, now if I'm looking up column six, I see uh, three, four, five, make a triple. And when you have to show all the candidates, you know, this will kind of step out of me that these three, four, five has to be in these three cells in column six. So I can get rid of that three and a four and get rid of this three, four, five and get rid of that three, four, five. And what does that leave us with? The one, two, eight, naked triple as well. Okay, and now I'm seeing a three, four, nine, three, four, three, four, six, nine. So there's actually a naked quad that I'm noticing right here. See, three, four, six, nine are limited to those four cells, right? And so you can get rid of the four and nine right there, it leaves that a seven, and and get rid of the three, four, and a nine right there, which leaves a five. Nice. All right, and now I'm noticing like a, another naked quad right here. So when I'm showing all the candidates, you're gonna notice like that first before I'd notice any kind of hidden pair. Now I'm guessing it looks like there's a five, six hidden pair up here, right? So if you remove the three, four, eight, nine, to five, six naked uh, hidden pair. Great. And now that five and six means it can't be any more fives and sixes along column, uh, or excuse me, row one. All right, I'm gonna now look kind of scan down and see what other restrictions I can make. And if there's anything else, hidden naked singles that I can uh, knock out right now. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see anything. I am gonna look again for I mean, I see a hidden single five right here. There's no other fives. But I'm kind of do that kind of a scanning to see what I might be missing. All right. And so got here. There's only one five in that spot. Five, 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 two fives right there. All righty. Uh, fives. Okay, I'm doing a good job. Doing pretty good here. All right. And so now I'm going to, I don't see anything else I can solve right off the that so I'm going to uh, search some candidates and so what do we see with the ones here I see I'm looking for you know some buy value cells I'm looking for uh, maybe some kind of x-wing or swordfish type pattern I don't see anything with the ones just yet I'm going to the twos oh this two is hidden Single, so I can solve that for an eight and that for two. Sorry, I missed that. I really try to get those um, without having to use the can. Okay, so that's a nine, one, four, eight. So a four, eight, and a four, eight means you can get rid of the fours and eights. That means a three, nine um, in pair there. And this has to be a one because there's only one left in column two. And what does that do? That means that makes this an eight. Okay, great. And what else did I? Accomplish from that. For this 3 9, I'm going to get rid of all the 3s and 9s cutting across row 3. And what do I see? 1, 2, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7. I don't see if there's anything else I can do with that. I see a 1, 2 now, and they could pair. Great. Uh, okay. I think that's all I can do with that. Oh, okay. So now the 1s are a pointing pair. I'll show you that real quick. So now they're the pointing pair. So you can actually get rid of these ones that leaves this one solitary one right here. And that's a two, that's a one. You got a four, seven. Now make a pair right there, so that can't be a four anymore. That can't be a four, means that's an eight, that's two. 
and this is a four. So we're making great progress. Okay, and there's only one, and that can't be a four anymore. One, there's only one one left up here, and so we can get rid of all these ones. Uh, man, and now the three nines, you can see how that's and they're on a naked pair, right? See how those? So that means that has to be an eight. All right. Three nine, three nine, three four, three nine. There's a lot of repeating pairs I'm noticing here. So the ones are all done. The twos are now done. Let's go to the threes again. Anything here with threes that I can do solving wise? No. Let's go to the fours. I've uh, cleaned up the fours quite a bit. Nothing I can do with the fours. Let's go to the fives. Uh, nothing. Okay. So we have an interesting situation here, and it's a unique rectangle. Now, I just did a analysis video with Mark. I'll put a link right here where we talked about uniqueness about people whether they use it or not. To me, if a puzzle has a unique solution, this one does. Uniqueness is on table. It's part of the rules you can use it to solve. If it's not, you shouldn't go for that technique. That's my case on. But in this case, what you see here, five, six, five, six, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. So sevens are in these two spots. This is a type two. What it means is a seven's got to be in one of those two spots. So any, any cell that sees both these sevens, you can eliminate a seven. I can eliminate a seven from right there. And the reason being is if there's no seven there, you could put five, that means you can put a five and a five there and a six and a six there. Solve the entire puzzle, look at the grid again, and you see six and six, five and five. And it's, it's two solutions to the same puzzle. We know that can't be true, so a seven has to be in one of those spots. So you can eliminate that seven there. You can come across and eliminate any of these sevens right here. Now, what does that do to this column? It looks like now you have a 5, 6, and a 5, 6. So this actually makes this a 7, right? Because now that's a 5, 6 naked pair. And since that's a 7, you got a 3, 4, 9. Sweet. And then what can we do? 7, 7s. There's two 7s right there. And there's two 7s down here in block 7. So I can't make any more solves, but that helped us out quite a bit. And now they see the just jointed 5, 6. That's okay because there'll be some other cells that'll play restrictions in here so that's not creates a unique solution. Let's go on to the sixes. Oh, I missed this one solitary six down there. I hate doing that, sorry. My apologies. All right, let's go on to the sevens, four, seven, four, seven. So what we have here is another unique rectangle situation. You see how the sevens are limited to the same two blocks, or excuse me, uh, same two columns, same in two rows. Two columns, two rows, right? Two blocks. That's a uh, precursor for uniqueness. And then you also got to have like by value cells. So what we know here is that a four can be in other spots along this row, but a seven can't. So what we know is that we can eliminate the fours from here. And the reason being there is that if uh, this was a four, then it creates seven, seven, four. And then we had that whole deadly uh, uniqueness problem again. And you go back, solve the puzzle, go back and you can show sevens there and fours there. We don't want that. So the fours are gonna be in one of these extra spots out here or down here. Great, so I eliminated that. I don't think that really does much for the puzzle itself, but I did wanna point that out. All right, let's move on to the eights. Oh, only got one eight there. Sorry, I missed that eights. And then these eights are all good. Let's go to the nines. Mm, three, four, nine. Nothing there. Three, four, nine. Okay. Uh, I can't see anything else going on with the nines. And since I've made some solves, I will just kind of go back to the threes, see if there's anything else I might have missed. I'll go back to the fours. Nothing. Let me see here. I don't want to speak too quickly. But no, there's nothing I can see with the fours. Five's looking good. Sixes are looking good. And the reason this is not unique rectangle is because you see there's no sevens up there and there's no nines down there. So it doesn't apply. Uh, sevens, eights, and nines. And then we go here. And we have a lot of cells here. Okay. Now, how do they interact with each other? That's the question, right? Three, four, three, four. Okay. Five, six, three, four, seven. Three, four, eight, nine. Hmm. A lot of three nines. 
All right. Well, I'm curious now. Really, really curious here. What has this created for us? Um, I'm looking. Four, three, three, nine, nine, three, four, seven, seven, four. No. Four, three, four, three. Now I'm wondering if there's some kind of uh, W wing, which leads us three to four, because that can make some eliminations right there, which would be super helpful for us. Or did I, you know, the other thing I'm going to look for is, is there some kind of hidden uh, triple that I'm just not seeing right now? It was all, because I didn't really look for the triples that hard when I went through all the candidates again. Let me see here. So this 3, 4, and this 3, 4. This, is there something connecting these? So I'd be looking in there. No, there's not. Not from there. We, like I was looking to see if there's a strong link, and there's not from here uh, from here to here using the threes because you know this this is not a strong link. That would be the only thing that would connect them. Or here, but that doesn't connect with this three four. All right. So let's look at the fours and see if there's something. Three four. No, because this isn't wouldn't be the strong link we need. Okay, 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 okay. Huh. I'm curious now. One, two, one, two, three. Well, I wonder what's the way to go from here, you know? Now I'm gonna look to see if there's some kind of like X uh, X Y Z wing, X Y wing, you know that would that would kind of tip me off. It's like the three four three nine. We have a three four nine. Three four three four six. We need a three six. Don't have that. All right, all right. No, I'm not seeing. It. Huh? I was moving along really fast in this puzzle too, and I don't really see next movement spot here okay yeah it's not like immediately apparent where I'm supposed to go with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and now I'm going to look a little harder for like a swordfish type scenario here okay we got three right there we got three come up this way and one, two, three. Hmm. Looking across. Uh, I don't see any like a jelly, I think a jellyfish situation that's not helping us. What about these fours? Is there something simple with these fours? I'm just missing. Uh, okay. This is wow. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. So what you have here, and I missed this before. As a finned jellyfish. All right. Okay. So these, you see, there's uh, row two, row five, row seven, row nine, right? And then the columns. Uh, one, four, six, and seven. If and here's your little fin right there. And so if that fin wasn't there, this would be a nice little jellyfish. Four by four. Basically, the fours, you know, have to be in in one of these two two spots, in one of these two spots, one of these two spots, or one of these three spots in those rows, or you'd break the puzzle. Uh, I've done many jellyfish swordfish before, but since you have this fin here. Uh, you can only make eliminations within this particular block. So either this is a four, and that can't be four, or this is not a four, this is going to be a massive jellyfish. And so it still can't be a four. Either way, can't be a four, that's a three. Wow, okay, didn't expect that. So you got a four, five, four, five, makes this a three. And that's a nine, nine, three. Let's get rid of the coloring here. Oh, wow, huge, 
because now that's a four five four and I think we may have cracked our puzzle I did not expect those are some unique uh, strategies you don't normally have to work with those types of strategies like the swordfish and the uh, like like a thin jellyfish like that Wow and then the uniqueness most people don't put the uniqueness in as a way to kind of push through with this puzzle I didn't see an easier way to do it though okay uh, I'm talking too much four six seven it's the only plot for a three I gotta solve that for a three and then what else do I have for threes all right there's only one spot for a three right there nine three those two spots eight seven four come on come on solve for me well did you try the puzzle? Let me know how it went. Any of the comments, feel free to add them there. Anything I might have missed as well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. The Smart Hobbies, don't miss any new content. Thank you so much, Riff Clown, for justice. That was fun. That was fun. It was challenging. I like putting that there. I think uh, if you guys found a way around the uniqueness, let me know. I felt like that was the most straightforward way to solve this particular puzzle. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching.